Today on Cars, Stars, and Bars, we're here in Knucklehead's Garage, and we're building cigar box guitars and diddly bows from our friends at CB Giddy. They're not the only people that do this, but that's who I've been getting my stuff from. Pretty cool. Watch this. It all started out innocently enough looking for a guitar with a friend, for a friend. So I came across this thing. It was a cigar box guitar kit. And this is what I did with mine. I call this one my BC Giddy. Bootsy Collins Giddy. Ah, the name is Bootsy, baby. I'm so glad to be here with you, DJ. On the one, baby. One me up! <laughs> <laughs> so this came as a plain, unfinished kit. I stained it. My buddy Kevin, we stained it. We made a one for him and one for me. Mine has all the cheese on it. So it gave me this concept about art. And so I started looking at their catalog, and I said, okay, how do we make more art without paying for all of this? So they got these things called diddly bows. And in rough terms, a diddly bow looks like this. Cigar box with a broomstick. And the hardware, which I don't have installed yet. And one string. So speaking of cigar box guitars and diddly bows, here's a cigar box diddly bow. What you see here, folks, is we're taking this neck, which is a one-inch dowel, and I've marked it. And we're taking this box, and we're going to screw the neck down into it through the lid. Let's see. Can we do this? Here, let me look. There we go. We're going to put it in through the lid. There it is. Tappy, tappy. And then we're going to end up with something that looks about like that. And it's a one-stringed instrument. And these are the other parts that come in the parts kit. Look, no strings attached. That's going to change. Everything but the nut and the string. Hmm. I said, hmm. So I got this mineral spirits can, and I'm going to turn this into a diddly bow using a piece of wood and some machining hardware stuff that I bought from our friends. So I got to thinking, and I took this can. That's going to be the sound hole. I took this can, and I got a stick. The kind Buford Pusser would be proud of. And I said, I'm going to make my own with this stuff instead of throwing it out like the can, go in the recycle bin or the stick, which will sit around here forever on a Sunday. Speaking of sticks that would make Buford Pusser proud, we've got this little ditty right here. And I did the cutting and the finishing, and this is still kind of tacky. And it's going to go on this pretty ditty right here. It's got a whammy bar. Check it out. We're going to put the whammy on it right there. Chocolate and peanut butter. I mean, it's tacky no matter what. Look what I can do. You can too. So I don't know about you, 
But this is kind of what I've been doing. I'm just knee deep in it. It'll be wall art. It'll be conversation pieces. This comes from a place in New Hampshire, up in lobster country, CB Giddy, with my BC Giddy, my Bootsy Collins Giddy over there. Giddy up, gotta go. Ah, the name is Bootsy, baby. Wind me up, man! <laughs> Cars, stars, and bars with cigar box guitars. Art, you know, when you look at the guitar as art, it's what it represents that is more beautiful than any given guitar. And it represents freedom and expression and whatever to whomever. I can hardly walk and chew gum. And don't forget, it's still about mom and pop stores, and this is a mom and pop thing. You got everything you want, giving up the funk and everything else.